I guess I'm gonna go ahead. Hold up. Uh, Chopper, he a hot nigga. Got them white boys running bases, call them socks, nigga. Getting money off that chronic cash crop, nigga. Hey, y'all know I'm about to kill this last stop, nigga. Rip rap, all y'all need to do is sit back. And let the chopper put Pulaski on a big map. Eat them like some knickknacks, y'all niggas kick cats. Them MCs come with them Donalds like a Big Mac. Uh, Donald Trump, nigga, by the way. That's what I call him Franklin's nigga, that's just how I say it. And when them shits finally drop, they won't know how to play it. Y'all niggas know this gonna blow, I tell them bombs away. Uh, I'm cooling nigga condensation. I whip that gas up to the sky, now that's evaporation. You know the basics, my sex game precipitation. We got me feeling free. Nigga like the Masons I got so much parts that I can magistrate I get that Mary by the zips for holy tavern sake Then get that head and cut her off Now that's decapitate Hey chopper got a big worm Call that masturbate Simply blowing kush like the wind breeze Y'all sleeping on me like you niggas pop three Z's See we playing ground rules like the kids see Y'all fuck it up Y'all spitting knuckles nigga pig feet Uh Remember when I grabbed a skateboard I ain't gon' lie thought I was wheezy But I changed form Levi's camouflage, don't mistake war Feeling like Marco with that polo, tell him stay long Never prefer, I just perform to the stage warm I breathe nails and spit hell for today's form Y'all off the rail, y'all chipping Dale, give him an acorn I brush your shell on DL, call me J Moore uh, pussy, I done handle this I stand this shit like a stallion, bitch I'ma mount this shit I cuss the worst, but I got that verse like Evangelist Slap him, then slam him on the bar uh, Counterfeit Hey, chop about the murder shit. I work this shit for the purposes for the hearse and shit. The church is sitting all nervous cause they done heard some shit. May God forgive me, I'm sitting pretty in services. Damn, yo, I got the destroy. They say I keep my pants slow cause I'm a decoy. You cheap boy, I got that golden like a beach boy. And no, I keep them bands though, like a deep boy. Yeah, my fighting shit in better shape. Some niggas flame, niggas icing like the carrot cake. All them cats, you know they time, what did Jerry say? A better day for your lyrics, man, you in every way. Chopper, yeah, he back, call me John Henry. Now I'm running through these tracks, call me John Henry. They call me Chopper, but Rashawn went all empty. They tell me bring it, I'm like, hey, I brought them bars with me. And we hustle, we hustling, we ain't selling jack. Who is that? Bitch, you a customer, you ain't selling jack. Take this BC straight to the don't piece, it's like a cougar hat. Then psh, lose your back, they no Chopper, man, where they do that at? Kill him. Stuttered a little bit, but chop a slice. Yo, what is up, y'all? Man, it's your boy Chop a Slice, man, and you know what it is. Welcome to Coach Boy TV, aka Chop and Tosh Entertainment, aka Keeping It Cousin. You know what it is. I could do ground game, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, throw kicks too, but I'd rather slug it. And if it's Call of Duty, let's get them guns bussing. You know, we thugging. I love it. On neighborhood, but. I love you guys, man. Welcome to UFC 4. And I've dropped this fighter before, but I felt like I needed to edit it. his CAF, CAF, Create a Fighter Formula. So, huh. Okay. That's my man, Danny P. That's my boy, man. That's my little brother, man, from the UK. Shout outs to Danny P. That's my man's, you heard. But check this out, though, for real. Um, And I think I actually did decent on this, man. Especially for the mechanics that they have on the game. So, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say this is one of my, one, uh, one of my greatest, man. Um, this, is, this, this is special to me, man. I've done this cab before. You may can find it on my channel. And by the way, and if you knew, look, it's your first time seeing this. I create fighters on UFC 4. When Esports Boxing Club comes out, none of these games sponsor me or nothing. I'm going to make fighters on them too. So, like say for instance, if Esports Boxing Club come out or they drop a new fight night or whatever, which I'm pushing for Esports Boxing Club because they are they don't have the, as much money as Esports you, I mean, EA, excuse me. They don't have as much money as EA. But they're making this game look tremendously great, man. It's looking better than the Fight Night series. But anyway, which I'm a huge fan of. But yeah, man. This is a good one, man. This is a heavyweight um, legend right here from the 90s. And I think the late, late 80s. around. 
he started, I think, around a little bit after Tyson or around the same time. I'm not sure. But I th it may be a little after. But in the 90s, man, this dude was a monster. Heavyweight champ. Um, Riddick Bo, man. Riddick Bo. Big daddy right here. You hear me? Riddick Bo in the building, man. Um, and like I said, I've done this before. If you're new to the channel, hit the like button, please, man. It don't take nothing to subscribe. And if you like fighters from now on, um, check this out. If you want a fighter request, subscribe to the channel and I got you. If you love boxing, if you love MMA, it don't matter. I'll make it for you. I'm backed up on many of fighters. I ain't going to lie, but I'm getting them out. So, you know, yes, yes, yes. If you guys um, have any fighters that you would like to see me make, I will make them authentic as possible. Sometimes it takes me a whole day to make them because I want to make them good. It, you know what I'm saying? I want to get as close as I can to how they look, if not on the money. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys have any fighters requests and want to see me make a fighter, subscribe to the channel. Um, Let me know. You know what I'm saying? What fighter you would like for me to make. Let me know if you subscribed. I got you. You know what I'm saying? It will be out. Just stay patient and stay ready for me to get it out. It will be out. Um, but yeah, man, I love you guys, man, and I hope you like the video. Comment below if you got any questions. Let's get it. All right, man, yeah, the heavyweight prospect, man, Riddick Bo, man, Big Daddy Bo, one of the greatest heavyweights in the world, man, on the real, and my, honestly, in my top 10, and I would honestly have to say he deserves to be in my top five, but you know, this is opinion, um, I'm a fan of Big Daddy Bo. He's had some legendary fights. My favorite rival that he had, though, was with Holyfield. I wish he had a chance to fight um, Lennox. I wish he had a chance to fight. Wait, did he fight Lennox? He might have fought Lennox. Let me see. He might have fought Lennox. Yeah, I already knew that. By the way, yeah, Lyric... Um, Riddick Bo, Big Daddy Bo, he's a, um, he won the, um, Olympics, man, in 1988, so I was right, um, he won a silver medal, man, so that's, that's really good, man, that's really good, um, but yeah, he outpointed, um, a Russian fighter, man, Alex Miroshinokichov, or however you say, it. <laughs> how, how, how you say his name, Miroshinichenko. Something like that, but he was a Russian um boxer, and he outpointed him, man. But he lost, man, a controversial decision, man, to Lennox Lewis in the Olympics. So they did, they did fight when they were young, man, and not in their primes. But I guess you could say they're amateur primes. But um, Lennox Lewis, man, another one, man, that I that I you guys will see me drop. He's a heavyweight boxer, man, coming out of the UK. Um, Lennox Lewis was a legend too. Um, he had some great bouts, man, with um, Mike Tyson. Of course, he defeated Tyson. He kept that jab on Tyson. Tyson was going through it. Tyson wasn't in the right state of mind. I, f I honestly feel like, um, you know, that Lennox can beat Tyson any day, honestly. But I feel this, too. I feel like Tyson probably would have knocked Lennox out, in my opinion, if he had been in the right state of mind. He was having trouble with a lot of taller fighters at that time. But he, he still managed. You know what I'm saying? Tyson was a knockout artist, one of the greatest in this world. One of the greatest in this world. Opinion or not, he is definitely in the top five. Um, But Lennox Lewis done his thing, and he, he defeated Tyson. Like Buster Douglas, you know, Tyson was going through it. When you have money, you stop training as much. You start, you know, Tyson, he'll tell you he had demons, man, that he had to overcome. But he could have knocked any of those guys out. But, you know, a win's a win, and it happened. Lennox Lewis was one of the greats that come out of the U.K. Riddick Bo, from the American, man. He from he from the Big Apple, man. He from Brooklyn. Um, But he dominated the first round against Lewis in the Olympics, man. Landing like 33 out of like 100 punches. I think it was like 33 out of 94, like 34%. Lewis landed like 14 out of 67, so it was it was a little controversial, and I'm feeling like, I'm going to go back and watch it, I'm feeling like it was kind of like the MMA fight with GSP versus Johnny Hendricks, no way GSP won that fight, man, Johnny Hendricks busted him up pretty good, GSP is one of the greatest to ever do it in MMA, him and Anderson Silva, in my opinion, you know, and BJ Penn, they, 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 all of Conor McGregor, now Nate Diaz, as my favorite, Nate Diaz, my number one, but, you know, those guys, they, they earned it, man, and they, you know, controversial decisions happen all the time, but anyway, let's get to it, man, yeah, Riddick, 
He's six five. I, he's two hundred forty pounds when he fought um Holyfield. Um, let's see what else we got going on. Big Daddy Bo. Okay, I'm glad they got Big Daddy on the um nicknames and for a social media handle, I just went ahead and put Big Daddy Bo on it. You know. And Riddy Bo's one of those dudes. He's known, man. He go he can he, he carries it how he carry it. Um real short tempered. He punched a a boxer one time in the in a press conference, hit him with a with a decent two piece. Do I think it should have happened? Nah. I think you should hold that to the fight. You're gonna fight anyway, but I understand. I've had people press me and you know, it was kind of a situation how um Hector Lombard in the bare knuckle, he, he he used to be a UFC fighter, Hector Lombard did, and now he's fighting in the bare knuckle championships, and he fought, um, he didn't fight him, but this dude, it's like promoting a new fight, man, kind of how Rampage walked up on Rashad, and was like, I'm gonna knock you clean out in the UFC, well, um, yeah, man, the same thing kind of happened, um, this guy, what what is his name, um, that walked up on him, man, I don't want to even look it up. What is his name? God. His name is right in the back of my head, man. He's a very... T- beast. Beast. Very intimidating guy, man. Very intimidating guy, man. Um, Lorenzo Hunt, I think? Yeah, Lorenzo. Lorenzo Hunt. Check him out, guys, if you don't know who he is. I may make him on this game. Um, He is a bare-knuckle fighter. Dude's a monster. Um... Walked up on Hector Lombard talking about, you know, he didn't even get to say anything. It was just a promotion. I guess Hector Lombard, that when you have adrenaline is pumping, it was his moment. He won the fight. He kind of interrupted his interview, and he kind of hit dude with a two-piece before he could even say anything. Dude was like, okay, I feel you. Dude ate it. I ain't going to lie. Now, it rocked him. I know it rocked him, but he took it. He said you hit like a B-I-T-C-H, and I'm going to get you. So I hope to see that fight one day. But Riddick Bo did the same thing, man, in a um, face-off, man, you know, against this dude, man. And I, I don't condone it, um, but, you know, th- things happen, man. And I know when somebody, you know, walk up on you, you know, sometimes you may lose it. Larry Donald, man, he looks, he kind of remind, he will remind you of um, Muhammad Ali, man. He will remind you of Muhammad Ali in a way. And they actually had a fight, and Riddy Bo won that fight. But Larry Donald was there. Larry Donald was there. But, yes, I, I would definitely have, um, you know, feelings towards that, man. Um, you know, Bo outlanded him, dominated the fight. Bo's a big dude that can actually, that's quick on his feet, kind of like Tyson Fury. But, you know, different styles. You know, landed like 219 punches in that fight, man. And Larry, Larry Donald only landed like 100. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. But he was there. He was there. It was a good fight. But I gave him the Luke Rockhold stance. He's 25. Brooklyn, New York. Um, He's right-handed, so orthodox. I would say he's a power puncher. But he also can use the jab, kind of like Lennox Lewis. That's the general. um, Fighter-type boxer powerhouse. Let's get to the hair. Okay, now now Riddick Bo has a part in his head, and I feel like this would be the best one to to get. You know, when he was younger, he always had a part. The part was a little bigger than that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with this. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you know, I feel like that would be the best one. But you guys can choose whatever. But to make it more authentic, this one here, hair three, eyebrows. I chose eyebrows three. I feel like that's more closer to Bo. But let me. I was looking at the... Oh, hold up. You know, Bo didn't have the bushiest eyebrows in the world. You know what I'm saying? Huh. Sorry, guys. I'm just checking. Yeah, I think that's closer, man, what I had. But there's a few that I see that I like. That I feel like kind of I'm gonna go with this one. Eyebrows three, I feel, is more of Riddick Bowes. Now I feel like the eyebrows could be raised a little more. 
And I always go back and look at my creative fighters, man, and edit them some more just to see what I can do to change them. I, I see the, the facial features, like the line on his forehead. He has a big crease on his forehead. If you guys go and look at a picture or look in the fight, you'll see that. I feel like it's a little too dark, so I may fade that a little bit more. Facial hair 10 is what I went with. Um, He didn't really have a whole lot of facial hair. He had a little stubble on him when he was young, when he fought Holyfield. He did have a little little, little um, mustache above his lip, and we'll get to that. I'll show you how I made that. I may need to fade that just a teeny bit, too. They don't have the one that I'm actually looking for right here on the templates, but I went with 10 just to give him that one. Body hair, not really no body hair, but I do think, um, and now Riddick Bo has tattoos. When he fought Holyfield, I didn't see any tattoos, but I will double check. Um, but I know when he was younger, he didn't really have tats like that. I'm going to go with body hair three. He didn't really have body hair, but I'm sure he had a little, you know, we men, man. So, this is in my opinion. Now, hair color black, of course. Eyebrow color black, of course. Facial hair color black, of course. Body hair color, you know, brown, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Actually, nah. Let's make it black, man. Can't see it much anyway. Back to the head. Um, And I started with this one, man. When I, when I first done Riddick Bo, I started with template 17. I felt like, yo, I can make that one look more like him than I could template 18. Because, you know, African-American features, man, you you know what I'm saying? They're a little different. You know, we have thicker lips, man, higher cheekbones, the whole thing. You know what I mean? Kind of like the Native American structures. But, um, of course, a lot of African-Americans in um, America are Native American blood, too. You know, but... Yes, I went with template 18. Um, you guys can copy and, you know, do your thing. I'm going to hit him with the 360. This is Riddick Bo. Big Daddy. And like I say, I always end up spotting things that I could change. So I may go back and edit it. And if I do, I'll let you guys know. Like Deontay Wilder, I also stay tuned for that because I had to add the right intro um, for Wilder's video, so stay tuned for that. I'm redropping that too, along with this. And I'll try to be quick because I've been talking about, Rick, you know, Riddick Bow man has some legendary fights. He was one of the greatest heavyweights to do it, man. One of the greatest heavyweights to do it. Um, very talented. You know, um, he was from an era that, um, you know, those guys were sluggers, man, in his era, man. They were sluggers in his air. So, you know, it was a little harder back then to knock people out. You know what I'm saying? You had to be a puncher to knock people out. Because most people that you were fighting back then were good, man. So, that's just the way it is. And it's boxing. I love boxing. It's one of my favorite sports. Sweet yeah, man.
Yeah, really, bro. And I'll and I'll breeze through this again. I had to do something real quick. Riddick Bowman was a monster. And, oh, that's one thing I wanted to explain to you guys. The nose, man. Now, the nose may be, in my opinion, and to y'all it may not be. Um, I think the nose looks good, man. Um, the nose was a little hard to make. Um, Riddick Bow has a different, you know, everybody's nose is different. You know, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it was a little tough to make the nose right. So, I feel like I got it real good and a close do I feel like it's 100% in my opinion? No, but I feel like I got it close and real good. Um, so if you guys whatever, if you guys think different um, that I need to make some slides different or anything like that, guys that makes fighters and things like that, let me know. Shout outs to everybody I know um, that I watch. Shout outs to um, my man Danny P, my man Rhino. Shout outs to um, Michael Peterson. Shout outs to Create a Player. Shout outs to Marshall Mind. Shout outs to Boxing Fanatical. I'm fans of all you guys. They don't sponsor me or nothing. I watch their channel. They're the ones who inspire me to do content. Um, shout outs to the boy Prioxis. I still want a boxing match with you on here, man. Um, shout outs to, by the way, I use Conor McGregor better. <laughs> That's my boy, man. Prioxis is my man. Shout outs to him. Shout outs to um, everybody, man. Shout outs to everybody doing it, man. Showbiz, the adult. Check his channel. Um, shout outs to Seti Nash, that's the Loke. Shout outs to Nina Boy, that's the Loke. Fuck Milk74 and Charleston White, excuse my language. Um, I'm gonna edit that, take that out. <laughs> but yeah, man, shout outs to everybody, man. Shout outs to um, C Mac, that's my man, Crip Mac, Vlad TV. Shout outs to all of those, man. I, everybody I watch. And if you guys play UFC 4 and you're interested in old school boxers, long. Because not everybody liked to create fighters. You know what I'm saying? By the way, I'm a boxer. Shout out to him. He's one of the first I ever watched. Everybody don't like to create boxers. And I ain't going to lie. I'm one of those people that I want to use what the game has and use it to its best abilities. And that's what I'm mostly going to do on eSports Boxing Club. But I will add fighters on there like McGregor. You know, if they don't eventually start adding fighters on there like UFC 4, I'll give it to them, man. I didn't know that they updated it most from time to time and added new people. Um, they've been adding people left and right, um, fixing ratings. They've been updating the game. Man, I respect that, man, from when it first dropped to now. Um, I heavily respect that, and I like that. And I hope Esports Boxing Club does the same. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's really professional, and that's what I look for in a video game, a sim video game. So, And when that drops, all you little spammers that like to spam the same move, the left, right, the left, right, the left, right, which you know who you are. <laughs> I have a brother that does that. You know what I'm saying? And he is a monster. He don't really spam though. He doesn't he does it in a strategy. But spammers, man, um, that's not gonna happen. You'll tire out, you know what I'm saying, and you get you'll get caught with a left hook cuz you don't wanna do that, cuz. Real talk. Um and I try not to use bad language, cuz for real, cuz I know kids probably um see my channel and my girl she on she gets on me about that. I'm working on it, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on it, but yeah, man. Um, back to Bo, man. Really, Daddy, blah, 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 Big Daddy Bo. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was he was a knockout artist. He was he was great, man. He was great. Um, but yeah, man. He's known for a lot, man. Um, the best fight I think he had, like I said, was Holyfield. And Holyfield is a brawler. You know what I'm saying? He's not no one that's gonna get in the ring and play with you. He's gonna get in there and try to rock you, like. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say Holyfield has one-punch knockout power, which I'm sure he can if he lands on that right spot. But Holyfield is one of those dudes that break you down. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. Like when he fought Tyson, he fought him with a great strategy. Now, if you're a boxing lover or a fighter's lover, period, um, the same thing that Tyson Fury done with Wilder, using his weight on him and um, close up, catching him with short chopping blows, that's really what wore Wilder down. And those shots to the ear drum. Fury knew what he was doing. He had a he had a strategy and he executed it great. He fought different in that fight. He was more of an inside fighter in that fight. Um, Wilder used more of the jab. Wilder fought amazing. Like, man, it, it, it really surprised me. And I was hoping he would get that fight in order for them to have a fourth one. And I'm a huge Fury fan. You see what I'm saying? I'm a Wilder fan too now. Um... But that was an amazing fight, man. I'm cool with how, you know, how it went. To me, there was no loser. Yes, Wilder, you know, he got knocked out in the end. Um, but for real, to be honest, um, that was a great fight, man. 
That was a great fight. He fought, literally fought until he couldn't no more. But his trainer, Breland, man, Mark Breland. I feel, do y'all feel like Breland? Comment in the comment section if you want to. Let me know what you think about Mark Breland. Do y'all think he should have not threw the flag in and the, um, the towel in in the second fight? Or do y'all think he did the right thing? I'm going to give you my opinion. Wilder is a warrior. You understand? Like, Wilder's a warrior. He's going to go until he can't go no more. And he's proved that to us. He don't have to prove that no more. You know what I'm saying? But he's dangerous at all times. You see what I'm saying? But when you spend so much time with someone, you kind of get attached to him, right? When you should, you know, he probably started becoming like a son to Breland. Yeah, I'm sure it's all business. He's getting paid, but still, you get attached to him. And when he's sitting there on the side and he's watching a warrior like Wilder start getting punished and, you know, taking shots. Because Wilder is one of the dudes. He, he is not going away. Like Joe Frazier, he came forward at Ali. And that was a different time. But you, you've got to give... And, and then one other thing. Do I think Tyson Fury cheated? I do not. I feel like the gloves will wear down repeatedly. You know what I'm saying? But do I think there was some sh shitty blows landed in there? Like, hey, yeah, of course. Um, And that's the... Hold on. We're going to get back to that, guys. That's the content for him, man. That's Riddick Bow right there. Um, So let's get to the eyes. Eyes is brown. Y'all know me. I like to choose weird stuff. Um, but I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Brown for this one. But yeah, man. Um, body type 11. What I think. Now, if you guys want a different body type, more of a buffer one, you could go with 16. But that's more your foreman right there. Um, I feel like Riddick Bow was real. He was solid, long arms. Um, when he was young, but he he had a he had a kind of a thick frame. But I feel like that's closer to Riddick Bowe's frame when he was younger. Now, Riddick Bowe is a little bit lighter than this right here. But he is darker than this. So, I wish they had one in between. Um, but he's a little lighter, but he's but he, but he's he's darker than, temp, than Tone 9. So, we're going to give him Tone 10. And I'm going to get to the facial features. Um, but back to that, though. Riddick Bowe. I mean, not Riddick Bowe. Wilder. Um, when you get... Attached to someone, you're training them, you're showing them. And Wilder has an awkward style. That's just his style. Um, He really impressed me in that third fight. He tried his heart. He tried his heart out. Fury was the better man, and that's okay. That don't mean Wilder can't beat Fury. I be hearing people saying, I mean, of course, you know, it's looking like he can't beat him. But you never know. Anything happens in a fight. You know what I mean? The controversy about the slow count and all that. I'm not getting into all that, but Mark Breland is a great trainer, man. And he's sitting there watching someone that he's close to. Honestly, you know, the shots Fury landed on Wilder. Wilder was getting wore down. He he started running out of gas. That had a big thing to do with it. He ran out of gas. You know what I mean? And when you get ran, when you run out of gas and you're getting clocked with big shots, and Fury's a you know a slick fighter, man. He's he's landing blows and Tr tricking him up and you know he's getting beat Wilder's getting the hell beat out of him he ain't quitting though that kind of hurts your heart if I was a trainer that would hurt my heart cuz like I can't sit and watch like if you had you and your homie y'all go to the club right or y'all going to the mall and you see somebody that's there and they start a trouble like accidentally run into or you run into them by mistake and they push you and it's three of them you know what I'm saying And but the bull Say, I won't smoke. You know what I mean? And you're like, hold up, man. And he, he attacks you. And if you start losing and getting the hell better out of you. I ain't going to just sit there and let it happen. I'm going to either split it up or I'm going to knock his block off, depending on how much I love that man. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, that's just the way it is. And if my blood brother, fuck a one, excuse me, blah, 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 excuse my language, screw a one on one when it comes to your blood brother. I don't like saying that. For real, though, when it comes to your bro. Cause there's no one on one, you know what I'm saying? But Mar Breland felt like he had to throw in the towel, man. He didn't want to see Wilder get hurt to the point to where he can't fight no more. Cause things like that happens. Um, boxing is serious enough as it is, you know what I'm saying? So 
I think Breland done a smart idea. Um, Wilder wanted to go out on his shield. Wilder got a little bit embarrassed in that fight, and that's okay because he was the champ. Of who the, f if you go undefeated, why would you want to lose to someone, and say, okay, they're better than you? Now, if that happens, yeah, you acknowledge the better man and have respect, but you can't sit and act like that's not gonna hurt. Then you got fans out there, you got people hollering ooh and ah, and you know that kind of makes you embarrassed, right? You know what I'm saying? A little bit. You know what I'm saying? And people in their comments and, you know, his wife's out there. It's happening in front of her. And, I mean, Breland made a smart choice. He threw the, he threw the towel in to save Wilder. And that upset at Wilder. And I'm, I understand Wilder, too. I'm not going to sit now like I don't. Just wanted to touch bases on that, man. Because if it happened to y'all, y'all would feel the same way. Y'all would want to go out on y'all shield, too. But don't, for those, don't discredit Mark Breland either, Wilder, for saving you, brother. Because you a warrior. He knows that. But that man loved you, man. And Floyd, I don't agree with everything Floyd does, you know, attitude-wise. But when it comes to boxing IQ, Floyd that man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he changed it a little bit. He it went from brawling to 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 defense and slick shoulder rolls and crack point. I don't think that would hurt for Wilder to know. You know what I'm saying? If he changed up and went with that kind of fight against Fury and was efficient and perfective with it, like the shoulder roll, man, imagine that would have been a whole different fight, man. I'm not saying the outcome would have been different. It just would have been a whole different fight. But Wilder's um, strategy was good in the beginning. Then after that, he started fighting off instincts. But that's just all I had to say. I think... It wouldn't have hurt Wilder to go with Floyd either for a little bit. And Malik Scott did a hell of a job trying to train him, man. For real. But um, back to Reddy Bow, man. Um, shapes 181. Alright. See the forehead right there? About right there. Alright, you want to do that? He has a crease in the middle of his forehead, guys. I try to do that now. I'm going to have to come back look. All right, and under the eyes, if you want to make the eye bags, boom, that's the forehead right there. If you want to make the eye bags, use the same one, 181, the, the, the faded one. And you can fade them on the um, keypad, you know, the arrows. You can fade them, left and right, fade them. So, I did it on each eye, and it looks like it has features on other sides, so I didn't worry about that. Now, the um, I'm not usually the greatest with the mustache and nothing like that. But I'm gonna fade it just a little bit. I used um Arizumi three and just do it across the lip. And that's him, man. That's Riddick Bow, man. And um if I do an older bow, he has tats, but I didn't think I don't see no tats on young bow, man, so I love you too, babe. That's him, man. That's Riddick Bo, man. I hope you guys like. And like I said, if you guys want it, want me, want to, want me to make one of y'all, you know, you guys, I can't talk today. Want me to make one of you guys' favorite boxer or something like that? You let me know. I got you. Um, but remember, if you want a fighter, subscribe to the channel. Comment. Let me know what fighter you want and that you subscribe. And I got you, cause I mean, I'm not, you know, I want my channel to grow too, guys. Um, I love you guys. Um, if you got any comments, cuz, let me know. Um, until the next video, stay tuned for Wilder. Um, dropping him again. Check that out. Um, until next time, y'all. You know. You know. <laughs> See easy, man. Oh, wait. Taunts. You know what? You guys can do any taunts you want, man. Do any taunts you want. Till next time, y'all. Love y'all. You know, the rapping in the beginning was me. I was just spitting from my phone, guys. I know it's, it's, it's terrible quality, but I just wanted y'all to hear some little bars of mine, man. I, you know, freestyle or whatever. Hope y'all enjoy.